Robots aren't going to take our place, but I do think AI will, and it is starting to revolutionize the workplace um, by acting as a co-pilot though. So for the workforce, AI will be a co-pilot instead of replacing you at your job. It should be your assistant and helping you do your job. So um, most of the repetitive tasks will fully be automated. We already seen a change of that. Um, I spoke to a company that their HR mentioned to me, like they're thinking, how can they use AI now to pull them away from being, um, you know, doing these administrative tasks that might take them hours to do, to focus on strategy um, and, uh, yeah, better um, ways to grow the company rather than uh, focusing on these menial tasks. So I think that in the, certainly in the near future, AI is going to assist with that. Data analysis will become easier, which is, I mean, or already started about five to 10 years ago, but then it's also going to make um, decision-making and hopefully progress for companies to make uh, better and quicker decisions and companies, as, uh, sorry, employees as well. And for companies, I think AI is going to affect each industry differently. So I, for an example, AI and HR right now, um, you're able to use AI to screen and source candidates in the recruitment process. You can use AI to automate tasks on the onboarding process, and you can use AI to uh, systemize your employee engagement and feedback system. So um, that's just one way you can use AI. You can, the finance industry is already using it to optimize trading strategies, um, detecting fraud. Hopefully that gets better. <laughs> so that would be a positive for not just the, uh, the person, individual, but for companies as well. Fraud yeah, will also get better because of AI. So it's a bit of uh, Oh my God, that's true. Yeah. Um, that's true. So it's always going to be like this for that area. By the way, for remote company, do you do something to just, you know, make sure that nobody impersonates you in a call and, and asks to transfer all company money to do some account? Have you, is there anything remote companies should discuss? Because like in person in office, it's like I can, I can check with my boss, like, hey, did you send this email to me to, to transfer one million? Uh, but, you know, remotely, you can you receive emails. Now you can receive video calls, as we saw, like I think in, in, in Asia, there was a case in Hong Kong. Uh, and did you, is it something companies should remotely start worrying about or at least thinking about? I think so. But we've actually seen a rise in uh, scams against EOR companies. So we have mm. been getting so many scams of like fake companies wanting to hire their employees. And they're like, uh, they'll say yeah, 10 employees, they all seem to be on the same salary. Uh, the company looks a little bit dodgy, even though you can ask for their, their KYC incorporation documents, they'll be fake. 